If you're anything like me, you are shaking off the chill of winter and ready to tackle some DIY projects that help to really spruce up the house for spring. We've got Randy from Black Hawk Hardware here to help us out. How are you? Doing well today, you? Yeah. Thank you, thank all you. Right. I'm doing all That's right fine. as well. Now we would be probably too overwhelmed to tackle everything, but you've got some great ideas to really spruce things up. Uh, number one, paint, paint. right? Fresh paint. coat of paint does wonders. It changes your mood, it gets you out of the winter doldrums, uh, it makes everyone look fresh. It's hard to go wrong with just picking a color and painting it. And you can always repaint it if you don't like it. You can always repaint it if you it's don't like it. Furniture. Yeah. And really too, you can just do one accent wall even, right? It's, it's still it's, popular, it'll always be in. Just do an accent. Just do an accent wall. Um, and if you're somebody who doesn't have all the tools, you can do some cost cutting measures Absolutely. by buying a kit. What's Absolutely. inside? You save money, you've got two quality rollers, a quality pan, a quality handle, and a very nice brush there. <laughs> That is quality too, so uh, but recommend the extension pole for the higher ropes and then climb a ladder all the way yeah, around. Yeah, probably so a, that, yes, a yes. safe option as yes, well, yes, okay? Yes, yes. Now what about small items? Like if you just wanna do a few little spruce ups around maybe children's furniture or a piece of old furniture that you wanna fix up, could you do spray paint? You can do spray paint. Should Let's we get a look at that? Paint. Let's look at the spray all paint. All right, yes. let's go. Oh my goodness, the selection of spray paint here is incredible. What do we need to know before we attack a project? You know, like, do we need to prime it? Do we need to sand it? What do we do? We need the prep work, absolutely. The, uh, the sanding, uh, some things don't need a primer, some things have a built-in primer. Okay. You're okay for that. All so right. it all depends on the color and the type of paint you want to go with. Yeah, and if it's going to be inside or outside, I guess, is it going to rust yeah. or not? Um, well, let's go through and find some of our favorite products. These are cool because they are like neon. You're not going to miss those right. for sure. Right. I love these two uh, crackle products, which, how does that work? You just spray it on and it gives that cool artsy effect. You can do it that way. You can put this on the bottom and then you spray over it. The top coat crackles and your inside color of the crack is your is the base color. So Got it. Use, use it okay. Now stained glass. I feel like spray paint has just come so far since i was a kid doing projects yes. with my dad so stained glass you can do and does it really look like stained glass it's uh, yes you can make patterns you can tape it off and, uh, just with the lines you can do angels bells whatever you want and then uh, beautiful spray over it, yeah. have like a beautiful church yes. inside yes. your house absolutely and you've got some texture here so you could even spray that on like you notice that's a mirror it looks like or an old lamp or something and all of a sudden you've fancied Picture up something frames. yes they do that a lot picture frames okay let's have another look for, oh my goodness glitter my daughter and actually my son too would love these how about that does it work the same as regular spray paint uh, it does it does you always have to make sure you shake it up thoroughly shake and while you're using it there you go uh you have, to, you have to shake it up while you're using it you know every, okay. every couple of minutes to keep it moving. oh i know we also have yes things like frosted glass Oh, great uh, for privacy. Privacy yeah. for like bedroom windows, bathroom windows, the front door panels that have yeah. glass. It takes the the most of the, the light from coming in the house. Yeah. You can still see through it, but it yes. makes it a little more private. That's a great product, actually. When I lived on a first floor in one of my apartment buildings in New York City, um, I got the, like, what do they call it? It's like stickers, basically, that were frosted, right, right. but it looked so bad, and they had, like, bubbles in it, and it looked so tacky. We don't take these. Um, this actually was calling my name as well. Camouflage? How does this work? To the hunters, they spray uh, their, their boats, uh, even, even rifles. Uh, Okay. Your stands, things like that. And we've got uh, five, six colors of the camo. And now do you, I guess you need to really have like a specific area that would be this color, a specific area that yes. would be this certain color. It doesn't just come out camo, no. right? <laughs> With all these different colors there, it's basically, it's like weaving a, a sweater. You have, if you're doing multiple colors, it's the way it looks, you can get this camo pattern off the front of the can. You can yes. see it through yes. light, dark, blend into your surroundings. And as I'm peeping around, I want to show you one more thing. And that's the appliance paint. So if you had an old school white refrigerator, say, and you wanted it to be stainless, could you just use that? You could light, you turn you it sand back? It, take you some turn of the, it yes, you take some of the shine off of it and then dust it off real good and put two light coats of that on it because it works very well. There's and, also a roller version. Oh. Uh, so that would, that would also work. Okay. Gosh, I never even thought of that. I mean, you could save so much money. Especially spray paint. They make it yes. Almost yes. Yes. Takes yeah. it edge off of it the kids furniture small right. projects old chairs you can brighten it up do 
do a yellow chair in your living room, you know, with the kids' room, yeah, whatever, and it just changes everything. But you want to do it outside, I guess, not inside. You should, yeah, or in your garage, someplace away from the house, because yes. spray paint is a little uh, yes. overwhelming sometimes, yes. especially if you have allergies or uh, pregnant women. The, it, yes. more, more of the chemicals have to stay away. And we got to watch out for the wind, I guess, as well. Yes. Okay, well, let's talk about staining the wood and okay. our baseboards and things like that, because every probably few years, maybe people would want to do that. So let's go find that aisle. Shall we go? Here we go. I'm learning so much from you today. So there's interior stains versus exterior staining, of course, that you would do on your deck outside or something. But let's talk inside the house. How often should we be doing this? Oh, if you have a lot of uh, foot traffic, things get beat up, you know, mopping, things like that, you can really scratch up your wood. So okay. it's a good idea to lightly sand it. If it's got a polyurethane on it, it makes it a little more difficult because you have to kind of get through a lot of that. Yes. So you sand it up, but you can restain it. We have wiping stains and gel stains that will right. stick to that old polyurethane as long as you dull it down. And then you put another coat of volume over it. It sounds like a lot of work. It sounds it, like a lot of work. It can be a lot of work, so if you're not <laughs> replacing it, sometimes it's easier to buy new, new uh, baseboards and things okay. and redo them and then put them on there. And, but, and doors are the same way. If you get a new door, it should be stained, two coats of polyurethane, and you're good. All right, well, let's talk bathrooms because those have a tendency to really get mildewy and sometimes it's just almost impossible, even using as much elbow grease as possible. So let's go find that. Here we go. All right, to help us freshen up our bathroom for spring, what do we need to know? Well, being closed up all winter, you get a lot of mildew, yeah. things like that, and you can't, you can't ventilate it nearly as well. So the best way to do it is to clean the, the caulking or the grout. And when it's dry, you'd look at it and you say, I need new stuff. And to freshen it up, yes. you can use the grout pens. Okay, let's see that. Over. So literally, you just take the pen, almost like white out. Yes, basically, it's like a magic marker almost, oh, but it's more like a paint, and it goes okay. over, makes it look white again, if they're grout white. So that's not going to clean it, that's just going to cover up, it's going to cover up the mildew, basically. Clean and dry, you must have first to do any okay. even painting. Yes. Uh, so whenever, if, if, you're, if you're happy with that, that, that works okay. out well, but your grout may be clean without this. After yeah, you get it done, it's dry, you want to seal it with this. All because right. this is like the old shoe polish with the foam applicator. Uh -huh. You just go down the grout lines, and this will keep the water from this soaking This is my kind of product, yeah. Randy. This is so this, much easier than anything is, else. This is a great and project. That way it won't soak in and make it mildew again near this. Probably get a couple of years. Everybody should do their showers and yes. around the tub's grout at least every two years okay. to keep it clean. Yeah, and this, I mean, very easy, not Absolutely. very little mess. Yes. My kind of project. Low price. Um, Caulking, I have yes. to say, is a little bit overwhelming looking at right. the amazing selection that you have. What do we need to know? Most of your, your bathroom caulking comes in a squeeze tube or a caulking gun tube, which is all caulking guns. Uh, if you don't need a lot, you go with the tubes. Get out the old caulking, yes. use a razor knife, something, dig it out. Take a wet finger after you put this in there and smooth it out and you're done. Uh, so make sure okay. it's clean and dry when you put the new stuff in and it will stay that way and it won't build yourself in. And then how long does it take to dry to the point where you can go and get back into the bathroom? Some of it's there? 24 hours, some of yeah. it's uh, probably like four or five hours. Yeah, okay, so yeah. the same day, you can do it in the morning and then in the evening before. Well, you've given me so many ideas and hopefully our viewers as well. My honey-do list for my husband is going to be about this long, but maybe, yes. I'm, maybe I'll be motivated to help him now. Okay. Randy, thank you so much from Black Hawk Hardware. Much. We appreciate it. Thank you for coming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, save, share, subscribe, do all of the things, tell your friends, hit the notification bell so you find out when we release our next video. We'll see you next time on Your Day with Anna Coyman. Bye.